Three things you must know before you invest in property. So I'm in the stock circle and people in my circle, they hate property because they say it's very messy. So many things to take care of your tenant, you know, maintenance, loan, banks, going under hot sun to view properties and all these things. And I also know people in properties and they hate stocks because they say stocks is like a scam. It can go up very quickly and go down. So what are the three big differences between stocks and property and which one should you invest in? Number one, stocks are definitely much more liquid. Liquid means it's easy to sell and it's easy to buy versus property. So if you are someone that you think you need your money to flow, right? You want cash flow that flows easily, stocks is definitely for you. Because if you suddenly need to use money, you can sell and use the money within three days. But property, no, no, no. It will take you like few months to sell a property and receive the money. So if you're in an urgent need, it cannot help you. And you cannot sell like just half the house. You must sell the everything. But for stocks, let's say if you have 20,000 stocks, you can sell like 1,000 stocks away. So that means it's easier to get in and get out and you know, you can split it easily and cash out if you want to. So there's no such thing as getting stuck in stock. It's all psychological. But in property, yes, it could have a situation where you want to sell a property. No matter what's the price, there's no buyer. Second difference between property and stocks. Now, this is where property shine because property, you can leverage. You can buy a 1 million ringgit property or 1 million dollar property with only 100,000 because you have a 90% loan. And sometimes they mark up and give you rebate whereby you don't even need to use any of your initial capital. Whereas stock, it's all cash basis. Yeah, you can do margin financing, but it's super dangerous and everybody get burned with it because there's this thing called a margin call. Whereas for property, there is, but you know, un it's very unheard of and rare. But let's say if you're gonna invest cash, which one is better, property or stocks? Confirm is stocks. Because stocks can go up 50% to 100% in a short time, within one year or few months. But properties, is super rare, almost unheard of. So if you're gonna be investing using cash alone, stocks is the way to go. And you know, a lot of the time, it's difficult for people to get loan, especially those business people or self-employed one. So that's why stocks is the best way to go for them. Now, so after telling you all these difference, which one is better? Like I say, there's no such thing as a better. Both is just as good, it depends on how you use them. And I mean, you can run both at the same time. So let's say if you haven't borrowed any money and you have a good loan eligibility, go ahead when you have a 90% loan quota, go ahead, find a good property, invest in them, make use of other people's money to make money for you. Now, if you're gonna invest your own cash or let's say if you have a problem getting loan, stocks is the best way to go because it gives you the best return in terms of the cash that you put in. So I see people getting burned in properties and stocks and the reason why, it's because of a lack of skills. No problem with the asset, but it's a lack of skills and knowledge. So if you are thinking, wow, I would like to start investing in stocks, but I do not know how and I don't want to get burned, right? I've got a good news for you. If that's what you're thinking about, go ahead to the button below, register for my upcoming webinar. In this webinar, I'll share with you how I make my first profit in stocks and how I grow my capital from 10,000 ringgit to more than a million in six to seven years. What strategies do I use for different stocks? What is the system? What is the step one, step two, step three that I do? In fact, this is what I use to make 20 to 30,000 ringgit a month in stocks investing. Once again, my name is Ming Teik. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I've enjoyed making it for you. Get educated on how to start properly and equip yourself to ride the bull market up. See you in my live webinar. Bye-bye.